Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shiva Ravindra. Today I am going to explain you the useful SAS techniques in efficacy analysis for oncology studies class 7. So the previous six classes I just given the overview about the endpoint data collection, adverse event reporting, tumor assessment and resist guidelines, oncology specific domain, censoring rules and event oriented efficacy analysis. So this class I will give an overview about the what are the special statistical analysis used for oncology studies. So oncology trial involve some special techniques or statistical method to analyze their efficacy data. Okay. Some of the techniques the first one is we are using log rank test to compare the overall survival related analysis progression free survival analysis studies between the two treatment groups okay so whether the previous drug and you know new drug was significantly different or not are giving the more effective which one you know and present drug or previous drug so we can know by using this log rank test method so this can perform by using the method called proc life test okay so proc life test is the procedure in the sas by using that proc life test we get some values up between the two treatment so we can analysis by using this one so here a simple data so the first column showing the time second column is status third column is treatment so there are two treatment one treatment two treatment so one treatment was given to four subject and second treatment also given to the four subject so these time points are nothing but so these are the time of events either you know so osr pfs are happen so here the status one nothing but here the event was occurred zero nothing but sensor so event occurred nothing but what is that event for os death is an event so the remaining are censored. Okay, remaining subjects are censored. In case of death was happened, subjects are event happened. The remaining subjects are censored happened. So in case of progression VFS studies, so if it is a one, the disease was progressive to the subject that particular time point. So zero nothing but the disease was not progressive to that subject at the time point. Okay. So by writing the proc life test, data equal to data set plots or survival plot so time the time point versus the status if we are giving zero nothing but so what it means you know so zero here is a sensor so we are taking as a zero is a sensor and the remaining all are events okay here we are uh, including the zero is the status okay zero is the sensor and remaining all, all are sensor zero is a sensor remaining all are events occur okay start up by treatment so here time time versus status showing what so specify the time point variable sensoring information is status zero indicating the status sensory okay start are nothing but we are comparing between the one and two treatment plot survival nothing but so we want to see the visualization of this uh, survival plot so by executing this one get the figures like if we are status equal to zero so we are picking the zero censoring versus the remaining all observations are events here second one so if you are picking one status as a one nothing but so only we consider event versus censoring so one nothing but events right so the subjects events we are taking into the consideration and remaining all subjects we can consider those are sensor okay so we'll get the figures like this if you are using zero and one okay so here you can see by using the one so with the number of risk subject so at the zero time point eight subjects are in the risk so at the tenth time point you know so four to six only okay so like that you know so whenever you see uh, the graph so the blue line was treatment one red line was treatment two so if it is above means the number of risk of the subjects is less for the second treatment compared to the one treatment the blue line is below right the red line is above okay 
by using this one so we'll get the log rank so pr underscore chi square the p value so time status one treat status one as a event of interest while other status treated as a sensor data if you are giving the zero zero as the event of interest while all others treated as sensor data okay so what is your event of interest whether you want to see the zero or one so which one is your event of interest so the remaining all treated as a sensor data okay so here you will get the uh, you know each if you want to you know see the number of subjects like this okay so if you want to by adding this test option okay so test option if you are adding so you will get the p value also represent in the figure okay so if the 0 0.05 less than p value 0 0.05 so there is a significant difference between the two drugs with their you know result if it is a greater than there is no significant difference okay so by adding the test you can display the p value also in the figure along with the graphs and here you can see this is the figure so so this also sends out but here we are giving the status equal to zero here the status equal to one so if you are giving one nothing but if you want to consider event as a event of interest so then you will get the p-value like this so, so if you want to consider sensor data set as your event of interest so then you will get the p-value like this so this p-value nothing but the treatment groups differentiation okay significant difference how much is there so we are representing in the p-value okay so second method which we are using to estimate the uh in the efficacy related two groups differentiation by using the kaplan mayer curve so kaplan mayer curve also it is one graphical representation of how the survival distribution was happened different treatment group in this 50th percentile of km estimate used to give the median duration as well okay so here you can see it is a tool to represent the survival analysis provide the visual representation of probability okay here you can see the data so patient id it is a group and it is time point and it is status so here the one status is event is happening zero nothing but sensor means this subject having the either death or progression this subject was not undergone any death or progression free so here the event of interest is sensor data so if you are taking status i equal to zero so you will get the graph like this okay so this is group equal to a versus b so a versus a is blue line b is the red line okay so here 50th percentile this value 13.0 will give you the uh, median value and this lower value upper by 95 percent confidence interval related values and here you will see what is the difference between the lag rank test and coplan mayor survival so the the both procedures are used survival analysis purpose only this purpose of the lag rank test use a hypothesis test to compare between the survival distribution how much time still the subject is going to you know uh leave if you use a drug or if you use b drug so comparison between the two drugs so which drug is more effective to increase the lifespan so this kaplan mayer also estimator is a non-parametric statistic same estimation of the survival function okay so this is a hypothesis this is a non-parametric statistics so while using the lag rank test the output is provide the p value test null hypothesis whether it is a difference or no difference is there you can find in the lag rank test it provides the survival curve which to also probably survival over time for the co cut of subject so x representation of the time y representation of the survival probabilities 
ओके वट इज द इंटरप्रिशन सो काम जीरो पाइं जीरो फै नई फै पर्सेंट कॉन्फिडे इंटरवेल सो इफ द नल हईपोथिस रिजक्टेड इट इंडिकेट दर इज ए नो सिग्नि दर इज स्टाटिस्टिकल सिग्निफिकेट डिफरेंस बिटवीन द सर्वैबल ग्रूप ओके सो पी वैल्यू लेस् दीरो पाइंट जीरो फै सो दर इज ए सिग्निफिकेट डिफरेंस then only we can accept that our new drug is more effective to increase the lifespan of the subject by using the drug so here the curve helps to visualization so by using the graph so we can see which drug is more effective and you know uh, treated or untreated so we can see by curve itself we can see here you can see the a b drug is more effective because the survival probabilities is more compared to the a drug a drug line is below okay so third method third analysis method which we are using to this one is reverse kaplan meier method so kaplan meier method is directly start whether you what is your event of interest sensor or event so we can use the start a equal to that one so reverse sensoring method nothing but here so the general concept is events are actual outcome of interest generally any study the events are actually outcome interest uh, most of the time we use the one as event of interest sensor nothing but remaining all subjects we can consider as sensor but reverse case method so last to follow up treated as event actual events we can consider as a sensor okay so every time actually when we consider as a event of interest and we will put but reverse kaplan meier method the remaining subjects we can consider as a event the actual events who are having the death or progression fee those record we consider as a sensor and we apply the reverse kaplan meier method okay in this method simply we can see if it is a one already event was happen subject we can change into the zero so already who are not having that zero so we can change that subject having the event then use the same procedure the status equal to zero so then already one is there so now we are using the zero this approach is helpful to get more conservative estimate the median fall off by treating the losses to fall off as there were events therefore potentially reflecting more cases were of fall off period okay so by using this method so estimation of the mean of fall off is giving more advantage okay so fourth procedure which we are using for cox regression so cox regression also we use the uh, estimate and compare the survival experience only so we are typically calculating the hazard ratio associated values by using the cox regression procedure so here one example a treatment b treatment is there in the group so event 1 is the death 0 is the still alive means 1 is the event 0 is not uh, having any event so these are the time points the data was collected okay so here you can see by applying the proc frag for the cox regression method so here the reference is 1 okay so by using this method so event of interest is 0 means uh, so we are giving the sensoring event okay sensor is our event of interest so if you are in the 0 so by applying this procedure modal statement and class statement hazard ratio group statement you will get the values like this so group 1 versus group 2 so if you getting something like value so that means what a treatment so 1.22 this means the treatment b have 1.221 times risk of dying compared to the a so one a treatment versus b treatment so if you getting that value so this many times of risk of dying compared to the treatment a so that is what hazard ratio means how much time risk is there compared to the a treatment to the b treatment okay so one more method also we use generally binomial test method we are using so binomial test method so at least more than one treatment groups were assigned to this one and for example out of 50 subjects 35 were event free and 40 subjects who are taken b drug or event free so in this case if you apply the proc frequency binomial and exact binomial method so 
9.05 nothing but 95 percent confidence interval stage we do this analysis by doing this one what happen you will get the statistics like this so coupler pearson exact method so the value lower value and upper value you will get so by using the exact methods we will get the p values also so the p value two sided p value we can consider so that p values less than 0 0.05 that means there is a significant difference between the two drugs if not cases there is no significant difference okay so just go through this slide once again carefully so you will get all the information in this slide okay so these are the general procedures generally we use for oncology statistics analysis purpose okay thank you